Hello friends, welcome to a vlog. Finn also says welcome to a vlog. I don't know what sort of vlog this, oh maybe. I don't know what sort of vlog this is gonna be. But as you can see, I'm not at home. And the fact that Steph's just, <laughs> just let the dog out. Um, me and Finn have come on our holly bobs to Fanny's house. I've just stood on the fish. Oh no. That's out of context. <laughs> There's a little piece of fish on the floor that Finn dropped. But yeah, we're at Steph's. We've come for a long weekend. It is Thursday. It's Thursday. I was only supposed to be arriving today. Yeah, you would have been like, what, halfway through your journey now? If that, yeah. Or yeah. just anything to go by their frigging figures anyway. <laughs> you might not have even set off yet. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I came up to drop, originally, to drop Jake and Fraser off at Download. And then the plan changed to them stealing my car and dropping me off at Steph's. And then the plan changed again and we've actually came up a day early, stayed at Steph's last night so that they could set off from here to go to Download, still stealing my car, because it is substantially closer than our house. So, me and Finn are staying at Steph's whilst they're at Download. We've got some fun-filled days ahead of us. We're about to head out on a walk, um, but it seems bizarre for me to be starting a vlog in Steph's house, in Steph's clothes. <laughs> Just gonna point out that this is a jumper that Steph won't wear out of the house because it's too cropped on her. <laughs> <laughs> Just to highlight how fucking short I am. Too much full size on that bag. Yeah, it is. It's not cropped on me. <laughs> uh, it's very cosy though, and it smells so good. <laughs> you can say that. I don't know what I've done. To, I mean, I've washed it. That's a good point, actually. I should have asked what you use to wash your clothes. Um, fairy. Fine. Cool. I'm allergic to Ariel. Oh, I have sensitive skin. Cool. Yeah. Finn is probably pretty eager to go out because I've been teasing him with the fact that we're going to go for a walk. So, let's head out and about. We're going to have a fun-filled few days. And I'll see you later. <laughs> Hello. It has been many hours <laughs> since we last spoke. Um, we went out with Finny Boy, who is now fast asleep on his bed down here. He's been so good and so sleepy. I'm just such a good boy. Um, but we went out, took him on a walk, and took him into, and us into, the crystal shop. What was it called? Annie's Crystals and Stones. Yes. Look at me remembering. The price difference between Northern Crystals and Southern Crystals. <laughs> Outrageous. So cheap up here. Um, so I treated myself and then Stephanie stole crystals from my bowl for my birthday. I have less crystals than I put in my bowl to start with. But I'll show you what I got anyway. I could not walk away without this. And that's how you know he loves you. <laughs> Oh, this is just going to be a week and a burst and it's a song that everyone pretends to. That's how you know he's true. <laughs> and do you know that he loves you? <laughs> anyway, I picked up this golden healer because look at the fucking size of it. It's enormous and it's such a deep gold. Like they had another one that was a lot paler, but this like deep gold one. The size of it, the colour of it, I just was entirely drawn to it. And it was £35. Feel the weight of that. Oh god, no. <laughs> that is heavy. A weighty boy. And for £35 I couldn't not get it. So I got that one. I do love me a golden healer. They're nice. And then what did I get here? Is this my rainbow moonstone? It's my rainbow moonstone. Look at that. Rainbow Moonstone, and I don't know if the camera will pick up the rainbows in it, but there's bits of it, like there's a bit right there. I just don't know if the camera will pick it up. Can you see any of the rainbows reflecting off that? I don't know, but it reflects rainbows, and it's a Rainbow Moonstone. This one, £16! And again, look at the size of it. For a £16 crystal down south. Maybe? More like the size of this one. The people have told me that this is orange calcite. I don't think this is orange calcite. 
I think it is a calcite, but I don't think it's orange calcite. But seven pounds. I was drawn to the shape, the colour. It's nice and peachy. I don't know what type of calcite I think this is. And then finally, this little one. This is a... Was it a lace agate, a moss agate, or a flower agate? I think it's a lace agate. But it's got all the little, like, raw openings. And I just love that. I think it's so beautiful. So, here are my goods. Plus whatever Steph pulled out of my basket. And I'll be honest with you, I can't remember what it was. So, I'll find out on my birthday. <laughs> That was our trip to the crystal shop and then we've come back, I've had a nano nap because I got really tired <laughs> and I cozied up just over there, had a bit of, bit of sleep, Finn's had a bit of a sleep, Steph sorted out her personal finances. <laughs> and did some work. Yeah. yeah. And I think we might settle in for some reading and then we're going to take the dog for a walk through a field later. He's going to have a field day. <laughs> <laughs> Casual bunch of boxes because there'll be exciting things. Oh, I don't have the nail power for that. I don't, I can't. Go, go, go. Ah, exciting business. Ooh, what have we here? Well, the summer collection landed with us. Look at this beauty. We have got the notepads. So we've done these notepads that match this bookmark. We've then done this bookmark. The pizza picnic bookmark. And then this bookmark that has another matching notebook. Which is this one. Very pretty. This is so exciting. Summer collection is with us. Chicken wrap for Dindins. Had to teach Steph how to make a chicken wrap. How does it go? It goes fold, fold, tuck, tuck, roll. And how did you do it? Fuck, fuck, roll. <laughs> I want you to experience this with me. So I'm going to record me eating like a freak. Um, Steph took me to Cinnabon today. Never been. Didn't know we had them in the UK. I only got a mini one because holy shit, the other ones were huge. And the smell is so intense, I think a bigger one would be a bit much. But I'm very much looking forward to putting this in my mouth. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Oh, look at all the cinnamon on the bottom. It was warm when I got it, but I got it hours ago. But it was warm. So, you know they're fresh. Mmm. That is the cinnamoniest cinnamon bun I have ever had. That's so cinnamony. It, it tastes like Christmas, it smells like Christmas, but it's also so cinnamony. Yeah. But I can feel the, I don't want to say burn, <laughs> cinnamon's not spicy. There's a kick to it though. But I can feel the like warmth, let's call it warmth. 
I can feel the warmth of the cinnamon like in my throat, it's so cinnamony. And so she proceeds to take giant bites. It's fucking delicious. <laughs> Hello. You've got food on your lips. So have I. Should have got a bigger one. Happy girl. Happy girl. This one. Next, because if you start causing pure chaos for me now, she's just turned the camera on to start to point it out. I mean, I feel like she's just going to try and trip me up. I'm not sure what's going on. I want to read this one. This is queer and it is following our main character who is called... Because I'm a little gremlin. <laughs> Look at this shit. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? It is a stream yard studio for us to go read. Oh, I've probably zoomed in on your face. I didn't mean oh, to do that. I bet that was attractive. Ding! Hello. Hello. Oh, back up again. Two messages from Jacob. New bastard. What a simp. Honestly, he's at download. He should be having fun, not texting me. He's what a loser. Baby. I'm kidding. I love him. <laughs> uh, we're going to go live and do some reading. It's midnight. There's a 24 hour readathon. It's on Steph's Patreon. She does an F1 readathon. Did you know that? It's like 24 hour readathons once a month to be all like F1 nerds, but nothing to do with F1 really. It's just reading books for 24 hours. Hello, friends. You're getting this angle because I can't be bothered to sit up. Um, it is 12 minutes past 2 in the morning. Steph's readathon started at midnight. So we have been reading, getting a head start on the days of reading. I'm doing some midnight Patreon sprints, getting a shift on. And I've just finished my first book of the day. Check, please. Volume 1. Hockey. I feel like there's maybe something wrong with me. Because... I feel like so many people have read and really like this, but I just didn't. And I don't think it's even like before anyone says like, oh, it's like a cutesy kind of romance contemporary situation. You wouldn't. Like, it's not that. I binge read all of Heartstopper. Come on now. I just didn't like, I didn't like the way it was told. Like, our main character starts every chapter because he's also a vlogger that we never really get any context about. Every chapter starts with a vlog and the whole story just seemed very choppy. And I just feel like so much of it was missing context because we're only getting like these tiny little glimpses into whatever he's vlogging about. But then we don't have the context of the vlog situation. He like vlogs about his athletic life and cooking and baking. Which, I mean, yes, you can have different interests. That's that's cool. But, like, what? <laughs> Tell me more. Anyway. um, I didn't love it. I feel like the romance element in here very much just came out of nowhere. Was a bit... Woo! It didn't feel natural. There was no, like, lead-up to that happening. It was just like, oh, they're on a hockey team. Oh, now they're making out. Like, right on the last page. Spoiler. Um, I just didn't enjoy it. I'm disappointed. I don't know what sort of star rating it would get, but I just didn't have a great time with this one, sadly. Um, so I will not be continuing this series, but I've read it now. So book number one for the F1 readathon today, complete, and it is my sport book because the ten pointer prompt for this one is a book featuring sport. We've got six minutes left of the sprint. And then we're probably going to go to bed, so I will talk to you tomorrow.
The last time I spoke to you was at like 2 o'clock this morning. <sighs> 3 o'clock this morning, whenever it was after I finished Check Please. And I just haven't spoken to you all day today. But you will have seen some B-roll of the reading. So I have been reading Our Wives Under the Sea uh, by Julia Armfield. I have 60 pages of this left. However, it's midnight. We have had a very slow reading day. It has been ridiculously hot for the UK. I feel like whenever I mention that in a video, I should specify ridiculously hot for the UK um, at 31 degrees today. We went out for a little bit earlier in the day and the sun just knocked us out, I think. So it's been a slow one and I haven't even finished 200 pages, but... I am enjoying this. I will tell you more about it when I finish it tomorrow. Because right now, I'm going to bed. My mum just, just told me she doesn't love me anymore. <laughs> no, I didn't. I told you you could get a drink yourself. <laughs> oh, that's the same thing. Um, oh. Hi. It's Sunday. We've had a really productive morning. You will have seen some B-roll this morning of packing Daisy and B stuff. And it's all done. I was up at eight with Finn and just decided to get a crack on with it. Get a crack on with it. Get a crack. Crack, yeah. Just crack on with it. Just crack on with it. Yeah, that one. Um, so that's all done now. We smashed that. Mm. Got all the photos taken. Yeah. That's all done. Been out to Tesco. Done some editing. I'm still editing. I'm bored of editing. <laughs> but I need to get the editing done. <laughs> um, it's been really productive. I feel like we've got a lot of worky stuff done this morning. Yeah. Yeah. And been out to Tesco to get the bits that we needed to get. Um, we're just waiting for Freddie to show up. She should be showing up, like, any minute now, yeah. really. Um, and then we're going to hang out with Freddie for a bit, go for lunch, have a nice time. Um, I still have not yet finished Our Wives Under the Sea. I haven't read any more from last night, so I've still got 60 pages after that, but I will be finishing this off today. But, yeah, we've just been really productive and hopefully you enjoyed the random b-roll of me packing. We must remember to film content. We're terrible content creators. We don't create any bloody content. <laughs> you know what it is? I just get so in the moment that I'm enjoying myself that I just forget to get the camera out. So yeah, unless someone same. else is getting the camera out for me, I just forget. Yeah. We suck. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> shower and he's just hopped in her seat and uh he sits there now very cute <laughs> right so it's been a while since we last spoke we spoke this morning before we went out with freddie so we will have spoke after we'd packed the daisy and bee bookmarks and we'd had like a really productive morning um the rest of the day was really nice it's been really nice to chill hang out chat relax it's been really good. We did a Patreon chatty live show this evening as well. 
Um, it's been a really nice, chilled day. And I'm happy to report that this evening I have now finished Our Wives Under the Sea. This was very Vandermeer-esque in terms of, like, comparison to Annihilation being, like, I haven't got, like, all of the answers. I feel like the ending was pretty open. We still don't know how it happened or necessarily what exactly happened. We don't know the circumstances, the situations, the surroundings, but we do know the feelings. We know the pain. <laughs> we know how the wives got to this point. We just don't know uh, how, what, why. Um, so I don't even know if I've given you like an overview of what this book is about. This book is about a couple. One of the wives, we get both wives' perspective. One of the wives is like a marine biologist researcher and she goes on this submarine on a research mission and it's only supposed to last three weeks. She doesn't come back and the other wife thinks that she's dead, thinks the worst. And then six months later, she comes back and after going through a small quarantine, she is sent home to her wife. But she is not the same person she was when she left and her wife kind of goes through the motions of trying to work out like is the person she fell in love with still in there what has happened to her is she is she still the person she was before has something changed what has changed why has it changed so I think I may have mentioned that I feel like it's quite Vandermeer-esque in terms of in Annihilation the main character goes on the expedition because her husband had previous and he came back not the same and she wanted to know the how, the why, whatever. So it, that similar sort of a spouse coming home from a mission not being the person they were when they left. But I got like surprisingly emotionally invested in this and uh, the ending hit me pretty hard. Um, I am kind of surprised at how much I've ended up enjoying this. I found it very captivating like I was desperate to know but at the same time as like being desperate to know what's going on I knew I wasn't going to get the answers and sometimes that like open-ended confusion and not quite knowing and feeling like the not knowing is actually quite realistic because in this situation I don't think you would ever get those answers and I find it kind of like it's unsatisfying but in a satisfying kind of way to me. So I ended up enjoying this quite a bit. I haven't like run it through core pile or anything, but I think it will score quite highly. So I'm anticipating at least a four star. Might not scrape a five star just for, I mean, it could actually. If I'm thinking scores on core pile, I think every element of it was pretty strong. So it could, but I think it's probably gonna be a high four star. I have read a book. Jake and Fraser are coming back from download at some point tonight. Um, so the plans that we had have all kind of been shifted, but I'm thinking it might be time for a kip before they get back, because they're probably going to end up getting here at some ridiculous time, because the traffic getting out of the car parks and, and like, off the roads around the venue and stuff are going to be ridiculous. So I think it might be time for a kip until they get in at whatever time they get in at. <laughs> Hello friends! Wow, I look like a very bad egg. So instead of being a good egg, you're a bad egg. I'm a bad egg right now. But hello, um, it is Monday afternoon, not morning whatsoever. Um, I can't remember the last time I spoke to you. I think it was going to bed before knowing what time Jake and Fraser would get back. They got back at about 2am, showered, we went to bed at about 3. Yeah. Um, and then I was up at half eight again this morning with Finn, got some worky bits done, been on sprints with Steph's patrons for Magic Monday, dyed my hair. Why is my camera battery flashing? I changed you. They're both dying. Bloody hell. Yeah. Um, but I've dyed my hair and I'm about to go and dry it. Um, so yeah, got some worky bits done. 
dyed my hair. The boys have repacked the car. They've had a bit of a lay-in this morning slash afternoon, as in 1pm, one, yes. 1 Fraser. Um, but it's been a chilled but productive morning. Yes. And I need to go and dry this, but it's so hot. The thought of using a hairdryer kind of makes me want to dye a little bit. Same. But it's got to be done. I've dyed it all red because I've got an interview tomorrow and having the like split colour didn't seem the most professional choice. So I've gone for all red. Just one blanket colour. Well, that was rude. I got cut off by a dead battery. I'll show you what it looks like when it's dry. Dan! It's red. It's not half and half anymore. It is like bright red actually. And this I think is the sort of red that will fade to more of an orange than a pink. So yeah, it's done. It is done. Them two are over there eating curries. The dog's on the bed. Stuff's wrapping my birthday presents whilst I'm stood right here. You know what it is. You picked it. I did pick it. I know what's going on. That was the only time you've had a wrapped present from me, is it? No. No, I brought wrapped no. presents. You've first done wrapped day. presents, yeah. yeah. You got wrapped presents when I got soup. Oh my god. Ironically enough, there's an entire bar in the fridge. Is there? I was like, I'm going to send her home with that. And then I was like, it might be chicken it soup. It might be soup. <laughs> It'll be chicken soup by the time we get home. Right, well, I'm hot and I've shown you my hair. Um, I reckon the next clip you see will probably be saying goodbye. No. You're not allowed to go home. You've been trying to kick me out all weekend. Yeah, well, now you're not allowed. I did say that yesterday. <laughs> I'm kicking you out all weekend and now we say. Time to say bye, Fanny. Bye, Fanny. See you later. Don't go. Okay, I'll come back. Yay! Bye, Fanny. Bye, Rob. Bye. Say bye to the vlog. Bye, vlog. Okay, bye. <laughs> and we're home. The journey home took us about five hours ish, um, and we didn't stop. Finn was asleep, like almost the whole way so we didn't stop on the way back um but we're home and we're gonna try and go to bed but it's so hot <laughs> Ugh, so uncomfortably hot but we are back after a lovely weekend staying at Steph's Finny boy has crashed in the corner he's still just shattered Jake's had a great time at Downlight haven't you Jake? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, and we've had a lovely weekend at Steph's. So now it's time to wrap this vlog up. So thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. I've had a fantastic time. Obviously, there's a, another vlog that's come out of this weekend as well, which was Finn's day out in Manchester. So if you haven't seen that one, go and check it out. I think it's super cute. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out. Thank you, Stephanie, for having me. It's always an absolute pleasure to come and spend a weekend with the bestie. And Finny Boy had a great time too. So I shall see you in whatever comes next. Bye!